wherever you go, you must be an agent of transformation, of good change, so that when you are long gone, it will be said, Mary Ndongo was here, and she touched so many persons, and she transformed the space. And that's what we are called to do. For you to be able to transform the space you are at, you must be in the realization that you have what it takes to do that. The self-confidence, the self-belief, and the appreciation that you don't know it all, all the time, and you need the next person to take, to take you along. And when you realize that you have a human being with that potential, what you require is the motivation to do exactly what you're called to do, to transform. Seize the opportunity, excel, and most importantly, work hard. And as you work hard and achieve, be humble. It's only when you're humble that you are able to appreciate the gifts of life. You stop self-aggrandizing. This is because so many people have helped me this far. This is because I have had the advantage of a good brain, good health, forgetting anything else that may have come along your way. Focus on the positives. All of us go through a lot of challenges, but you don't pack and go. You don't pack and drop. You keep moving, and you will wiggle out of whatever situation that comes your way. Mine is to encourage you and to wish you all the best as you take the leap of faith in academia. Last year, we had 114,000 applications. And we had only 10,000 uh, scholars, uh, scholarships. So 113 applicants had to, 113,000 applicants had to be left out. But when you look at it, 90% of all applicants deserve and merit the scholarship. But the scholarship are not as uh, many as the need. That painful process of selecting who is to benefit is borne by the selection board who normally uh, pay the price of, uh, through tears and agony at night. I've really been touched that uh, most of uh, the boards normally then uh, aggressively approach the members of parliament and they hand over uh, the qualified scholars. They are now mostly selecting for the CDFs. Uh, they are selecting for professional bodies. Uh, the majority of our scholars uh, come from uh, financially challenged backgrounds. But as you so know, in Kenya, financial challenges go with a lot of uh, other challenges, lifestyle challenges. And essentially, uh, the living conditions, the environment they live, uh, the traditional parenting uh, most times is not possible because of influence. And the best uh, that uh, these uh, scholars receive is the mentorship, parenting, and love from the principals, the teachers, and their champion mentors. We'll forever be grateful, and we'll continue to pray for you as we thank you for that uh, little role that um, you ably uh, execute. But you would never have these children if it were not uh, for... Maybe let's uh, ask the principals and the teachers present just to uh, take a minute and start so that we recognize where we are, you are. The first one is self-leadership, the self-leadership. 
we must lead ourselves. We can't, we can't be somebody else's responsibility. We must be our own responsibility. We have dreams and aspirations. Those are the goalposts. Let's lead ourselves to our uh, aspirations, to our dreams and our goals. It can't be somebody else's responsibility. Your dreams cannot be somebody else's responsibility. Your success can never be your principal and teacher's responsibility. It's your personal responsibility. Lead yourself. Be yourself leader. And be a rational rather than an emotional driven leader. Let's not be very emotive and emotional. There is always a rational being. Look at things rationally. Don't accept uh, to be uh, very, very emotional. Decisions made emotionally are a recipe of regret. Pause and say, what is the rationale of this? What are the facts? What are the issues? Deal with the issues, not the feelings and the emotions. That Be driven by values and shape your character. Be driven by values. Be a man and a woman of values. Let them shape your character and personality. And in all these values, please find a place for humility. Just find a place for just a future that you define yourself, not defined by the state of your palate, not defined by the place of birth, but defined by your dreams and aspirations because everything has been provided for you to achieve your dreams. This is your moment. This is your moment to shape who you will be and where you led. But it takes effort. It's not enough to dream. Realization of dreams is for those who pay the price of achieving their dreams. Realization of a dream it requires effort, it requires commitment, it requires a sacrifice. That sacrifice must be paid for a dream to be achieved. It's gender equality. No society can ever uh, prosper and develop if, if it leaves half of its population behind. And that is why this program is uh, uh, speaks of gender equality. Equal number of uh, uh, boys and equal number of uh, girls. Equality in society. Let's be sensitive about shaping the society we live in. Let's accept everybody has the capability and competences. And let's share that way repugnant beliefs and cultural practices that marginalize women. My daughters will give you equal opportunity. 